when I click on the apple, I want to subtract the cost value from how much money the cat has, and then uh, hopefully display that new amount over here. So we're gonna do that. So I wanna click on the red apple, and so obviously I need a control, nope, event, uh, when this sprite is clicked. Okay, so what do we wanna do when the sprite is clicked? Well, we want to access the money variable and subtract. So we're gonna go down to variables. You can see because money was for all sprites, all sprites can access the amount of money the cat has. I'm also gonna use my cost. And there's four options, set money to a number, change money by a number. Um, you can show and hide variables in code if you want to. So maybe you wanted these to disappear at a certain times or reappear. You can do that with the last two. I'm not gonna do those, uh, but I am going to, all right, set money to. When the spread is clicked, set money to. Now, if I just put in my cost, I'll hit play. <clears throat> when I click on the red apple, which will cause the when sprite click to work. All right, what happens? Well, something did happen. You can see it up here, the money value went from 15 to 0.72. I'll hit stop, play. So money starts at 12. I click on the apple and it turns to 87 cents. Now I don't want to set the money to 87 cents. I want to subtract 87 cents from the money value. So let's go ahead and do that. We need an operator. We used division already. We're gonna use subtraction now. Oh, subtraction. All right. Let's, uh, I'll do my cost minus money and then set money to that number and then hit play. Click on the red apple. Uh-oh, negative 15.16. Well, it was 16 minus 84 should be positive 15.16. So what I did is put the order in here wrong. You wanna put the big number first, little number second. Now hit play, click it. All right, you can see money decreased to 716, money decreased to 632, 548, 464, and you can click it as many times as you want. Now it's negative, which obviously uh, we don't want, so we'll fix that later. What I do wanna fix now is have the cat display the new value right here. So how are we gonna do that? The cat has to know when the apple was clicked. So the only way for one sprite to tell another sprite something happened is through an event, and this is the message. So we're going to broadcast a message. And you should never use the default message one. Make a new message, um, and we'll call this purchase, hopefully I spelled that right. All right, you wanna make your messages, the text of your message, something that makes sense. So if I click the apple, I'm purchasing the apple, and I broadcast the purchase, I've already taken money away from the cat right here. So we're gonna go back to the cat. When I receive, now we only have one message that we made, and it just defaults to that message, but if you have more than one message, you can click off on the list here. So this is purchase. So when I receive purchase, what do we wanna do? Well, we actually already have the code here. We want to do this right here. We don't wanna reset money to a random value every time we click on the apple. That's not how purchasing works. It doesn't change the money in your wallet. But we do wanna display the new value. So I'm gonna right click, duplicate, this is useful because there's quite a bit going on in here and I don't wanna to have to redo it, that would be annoying. There we go. So we have the same code. Now I have 18, I cost 63 cents. Click on it, I have 1737, click on it. You're gonna see some weird values show up. Unfortunately, we can't really format in um, Scratch, but later on we'll, we'll be able to format this just read it as $16.74. Don't worry about this crazy stuff at the end. That's not important now. Uh, you'll see some of the numbers. Oh, I don't, I meant to click purchase. There we go. So I'm just purchasing. Some of the numbers are going to look crazy. Uh, don't worry about that. Eventually, <clears throat> they'll stop looking crazy or not. So don't worry about this uh, weird decimal going on right there. That's fine. Okay. So Apple One, when I click on it, now 
changes this amount. Your job is to make the second apple do the same thing. And it's pretty easy to do. Uh, you already have the code to do it. Uh, so you will do that. 